Electric scooter laws are confusing, so we decided to get all of the electric scooter laws for the US states and put them in one place. It took a ton of research, so ESG partnered with Unagi to update the amazing scooter laws map they published back in 2019. In this video, we covered the five friendliest states for scooters, which five states are the worst, and details on why. Plus, no matter what state you're from, we'll tell you where you can look to find out what's up with scooter laws where you live. From helmets, speed limits, and sidewalks to age limits and driver's licenses. Let's go. First, let's cover the big picture. Most states, if they have any scooter laws at all, require helmets for riders under the age of 16. No matter what your age, wearing a helmet is the best thing you can do to prevent serious injury when riding an electric scooter. So just do it. Do it. Staying off the sidewalk is almost always a good idea, and injuring pedestrians is the sort of thing that could cause scooters to get completely banned. If you want to see all of the states, you'll find a link in this video's description to the US scooter laws map and a full detailed guide. At the end of the video, we'll share some of the most extreme scooter laws in the US as well. It feels appropriate that California is number one because that's where the electric scooter revolution started with dockless shared scooters from Bird in 2017. Then Bird, Lime, and Spin hit San Francisco with scooters scattered everywhere and rapid fire scooter legislation followed, most of which were reacting to the way people rode Bird or Lime scooters and not how people rode their own personal electric vehicles. There's a big difference, as we'll see. Fortunately, electric scooters didn't get banned outright. Instead, in January 2019, California legalized electric scooters statewide with some pretty straightforward rules. In California, electric scooters are not allowed to go above 15 miles per hour on any public road or bike lane. Scooters have to stay on roads with posted speed limits of 25 miles per hour or less. Scooters are not allowed on sidewalks. Riders don't need to register their scooters with the DMV, but they do need to have a valid driver's license, which means they must be at least 16 years of age. And helmets are required for all riders under the age of 18. There are, of course, places where 15 mile an hour speed limits just don't make a lot of sense. Where roads are narrow or there's a lot of high speed traffic, I feel way more comfortable riding at 20 to 25 miles per hour in order to keep up with the flow of traffic. And some people will also make a case that it's safer to ride on the sidewalks when they're wide open, empty, and there's no bike lane, as long as the speed is close to walking speed. Reason seems to prevail because in situations like the ones described above, most scooter laws are unlikely to get enforced, but good judgment is key. This brings us to helmet laws. Of course, it's important for younger riders to protect their heads, but no matter what your age, traumatic brain injury is no joke. It's just common sense, wear a helmet. With so many new, cool looking, tech enabled helmets coming out, you get even more reasons to wear one. The second biggest state for electric scooters in the US didn't get around to legalizing until late 2020, several months into the pandemic. New York and London showed how much people love electric scooters in big cities, with millions riding electric scooters even though technically illegal, because in dense urban areas where most trips are less than three miles, scooters just make sense. However, London was well known for cracking down on riders where New York was not. Enforced or not, legalization in places like New York is a very big deal. Since the traffic conditions in New York City are so different from the rest of the state, the city has some slightly different laws. In New York City, electric scooters have a speed limit of 15 miles per hour. Scooters must stay on roads with a 25 to 30 mile per hour speed limit. Scooters are legal on bike paths and bike lanes. Helmets are required for riders under 16 for scooters that are capable of 20 miles per hour plus speeds and for all delivery workers. All sidewalks are off limits for electric scooters. Surprisingly, a driver's license is not required to ride an electric scooter. This is a regulation that makes a lot of sense from a perspective of equity, considering micromobility gives access to transportation for many who can't afford cars. The state of Florida legalized electric scooters in 2019. In Florida, riders must be at least 16 years old. A driver's license is not required. Scooters are allowed in bike lanes and paths. Electric scooters can't have a top speed of over 30 miles per hour, and individual cities can regulate shared but not private scooters. Once again, it's pretty unlikely that the authorities are going to seize or impound your high speed electric scooter unless you're doing something stupid. Oh. Slow down or walk your scooter around pedestrians and just use good judgment. What this higher speed limit does show is that the authorities understand the difference between scooter riding in dense urban areas versus other parts of the state, and we hope other states will take note. 
The state of Colorado allows electric scooters on roads with speed limits of 30 miles per hour or less, and on sidewalks at a speed of six miles per hour or less. Helmets are not required by law. Otherwise, scooters must follow the same rules as cyclists. electric scooters in 2019 with a speed limit of 15 miles per hour in the streets and bike lanes. Riders must be at least 16 years of age, but no driver's license is required. Helmets are required by law, but as always are highly recommended. Finally, an honorable mention for Washington, D.C. No, it's not a state, but the nation's capital legalized electric scooters in 2020. Riders must be at least 16, but no license or registration is required. Speed is capped at 10 miles per hour for both the shared and privately owned scooters. This might be enforced in the busy touristy areas of the city, but it's very hard to ride fast in downtown Washington, D.C. anyway, due to the heavy traffic. Otherwise, some faster speeds in lower traffic areas of the city should be fine. D.C. is unique in explicitly banning the use of headphones. Unfortunately, many states in the U.S. haven't passed any legislation concerning electric scooters, leaving electric scooters in kind of a gray area that can be unsettling, especially in the event of determining who's at fault in an accident. The state of Delaware regulates electric scooters as motorized skateboards and prohibits them from all public highways, streets, and sidewalks. Rhode Island has no clear laws specifically regulating electric scooters. Ride safely and at your own risk in this state. Mississippi has passed no statewide legislation on electric scooters. A proposed bill in 2020 failed to pass the House legislature. The legality of your scooter may vary from one location to another. The state of North Carolina classifies electric scooters as motor vehicles. This means electric scooter owners must register their scooter with the DMV. Registration seems like an overly burdensome requirement that does little to increase public safety. A proposed Senate bill to legalize electric scooters in Pennsylvania in 2020 stalled in the legislature, and there's been almost no statewide activity around scooters since then. These five states have made electric scooters a low priority, and the legality of riding one is very unclear. In a few other states, the laws are almost too specific and way too restrictive. Some states, for example, have capped max speed, weight, or wattage in an effort to ban beast scooters like the Dualtron Storm or Wolf King Pro GT. For example, Arizona defines a street legal electric scooter as weighing under 75 pounds and not exceeding a max speed of 20 miles per hour. In Wisconsin and Ohio, scooters also can't exceed a top speed of 20 miles per hour. In Michigan, scooters are limited to 2,500 watts. Alaska goes even further, limiting motor size to 750 watts. These regulations are outliers in states with relatively small populations. So far, strict regulation has not been the norm. But if we want to make sure that other states don't ban bigger, faster scooters and that they become friendlier to electric scooters in general, we need to ride with care at all times and look out for the people around us. You can learn more about the laws in your state using the link in this video's description that'll take you to the comprehensive guide on electric scooter laws from ESG and Unagi.